Hello, this is our video demo reel for the latest app from Chunky Chicken Apps called the Bullpen. This is a stat tracking app for baseball pitchers as well as a pitch count app. As you can see, while the code's written, some of our media has yet to be finished, so we don't have an icon yet. Uh, that's okay. Looking to submit uh, probably tomorrow, Thursday, May 13th. So let's just go ahead and start it up. So you can see we've got a couple pictures here. Now this will hold as many pictures as you want to put on your team. Uh, this is a great tool for coaches, trainers, uh, parents, scouts to use to be able to uh, do two things. One is to maintain the, you know, to keep track of the pitch count for a pitcher, make sure they're not getting into dangerous levels of pitching. The other is to have a detailed stat breakdown. So we can go ahead and see some of the pre-existing stats we have for uh, this pitcher, Paul, right here. As you can see, we keep track of either uh, stats for the plate count or the pitch count. So you can see that when the count's 0 and 0, he's thrown 735 pitches. 15.5% of them are balls, 12.8% are strikes. 16% are wild pitches, bunch of errors, base hits, uh, fielder, um, fielder put outs, foul balls. So, no, no, this guy's not a very good pitcher. Uh, these are pretty random stats that we used. You can see we use this for all, we, we have this statistical breakdown for every possible count. Um, now, this is pretty thoroughly tested. And then we have a statistical breakdown based on how many pitches have been thrown. So, and this is how many pitches have been thrown per appearance. So you can see here he's thrown at least 10 pitches. Uh, probably, you know, he's, he's made 13 appearances. And you can see that it's the, you know, f out of the first 10 pitches of his appearance, he's either really wild or throws a strike. So here we keep track of the breakdown of how many pitches uh, get thrown per uh, length of pitch count. So you know, this is 11 to 20 pitches, 21 to 30, and it goes on down until you, you know, once you get to uh, greater than 100 pitches and, you know, 840, that's just goofy because uh, part of the test script was to have him throw 500 pitches in a game, uh, something you'd never really see. And now you see another statistical breakdown. So, so while this is, you know, the breakdown per 10 pitches, now you have a more cumulative breakdown, so you see you know, what he does in the first 20 pitches, the first 30 pitches, first 40, on until you see what he does in all his pitches. And now again, you can see that since this is a random number generator, uh, he gets a bit wild from time to time. Uh, so... So there's that. And then when you want to, you know, actually track a game, you know, let's give uh, our pitcher Leo here a start. And you can see, you know, these are kind of all the, all the things that can happen per pitch. So, you know, let's assume he's coming in in the ninth inning to be a closer. Strikes out the first guy on three pitches. You know, next guy gets a base hit. Next guy pops out. Let's just say he plunks the next guy. So now you got to run on first and second. Loads the bases. And then let's go two fouls and a strikeout. You know, he gets a save. Just hit this end appearance here. And you can close it. And now, well, we look at his stats.
So there you see, you know, the breakdown of Giannis' first pitch through, uh, you know, through one first pitch strike. Get a foul ball, batter out, hit hit a guy. You know, you, you can imagine that, uh, you know, on a large enough body of work, uh, that this this sort of statistical information will help you determine two things is uh, one is the effectiveness of a pitcher in certain situations uh, and this is great for when you know for a scout analysis so that you can you know go out scout an opposing pitcher uh, two is you can also figure out you know this is especially important for developing pitchers at what point they uh, lose their effectiveness you know every every player develops at a you know develops and matures at a different rate so you know while the guidelines at the a American uh, Sports Medicine Institute gives out those are great guidelines but using some statistical analysis you can figure out uh, you know what what exactly at which point uh, your specific player starts to tire out at which point he starts to lose his effectiveness One other thing is, you know, touch pads are sensitive, so, uh, you know, if we go, uh, touch pads are sensitive, so, you know, you go, ex you accidentally, you know, press the button you don't mean to do, you just go ahead and click the undo button, and it'll take you back, uh, it actually, you know, takes you back the entire way so um, keep yourself from making mistakes so it's easy to uh, make sure you you have things working it also you know it also saves everything so we can shut down this app in case you get a phone call and then when you come back you can see that he's back at the uh, where, where you left off so that is for the most part, the functionality in the bullpen. Uh, you know, we ha you know we have uh, plans to support it uh, for a while, you know, forever. And we think, uh, you know, again, if you're a coach, a trainer, a parent, this is a great tool to have while you're watching, or, or even a stat head. You know, this is a great tool to have while you're watching a game. You can keep track of your of your players that you need that you're interested in keeping track of. So thanks for watching. You know, be sure to check it. You know, I'll uh, announce it on the homepage when it's available, and be sure to check it out on your iPhone. Uh, it's going to uh, initially be priced at one ninety nine, one dollar ninety nine cents. Uh, and always visit uh, our website www.chunkychickenapps.com.